we could all use a booster shot of hope, of positive energy, of inspiration. And I have found mine. For the last few weeks, I have found more hope and more inspiration and more positive energy. For the last few weeks, I've been energized. For the last few weeks, I have had a glide in my stride. And it comes from a perhaps somewhat unexpected source. It comes from the recently released album by Beyonce <laughs> of country music called Cowboy Carter. And it's a fabulous album. There are 27 songs. Beyonce is Beyonce. I won't try to sing her songs now. But of the 27 songs, there is one song that has reached my soul. It just grabbed a hold of my soul. It's a duet that Beyonce does with Miley Cyrus called Two Most Wanted, Two Most Wanted. And when I say to you that over the last two weeks, I have listened to this song literally more than 100 times. I mean literally, I have listened to that song, Two Most Wanted, Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, more than 100 times. I listen to it all day long when I'm home. I listen to it in the kitchen when I'm doing the dishes. I listen to it in the family room when I'm folding laundry. I listen to it in the gym when I'm working out. I listen to it in the bedroom when I'm getting dressed. Now, my wife, Shira Goodman, she thinks it's a little bit excessive <laughs> to listen to the same song a hundred times. Can you believe that? And every time that she has seen me in our home for the last two weeks, in every room, I will be listening to Beyonce and Miley Cyrus doing Two Most Wanted, and she will say, again? So let me tell you why I love this song. While it literally fills my soul, why I just think it is so important, especially now. First of all, it's beautiful. I mean, Beyonce's voice is beautiful. Miley Cyrus's voice is incredible. And Beyonce and Miley Cyrus singing together is just beyond, just beyond. Second, the melody is super beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous melody. But the main reason I love this song, and the main reason I listen to it all the time more than 100 times, is the message of this song just resonates so mightily for me now. Many of the songs in Cowboy Carter are in dialogue with other songs. So for example, Beyonce does a Jolene that is in dialogue with Dolly Parton's Jolene. She does music that is in dialogue with the Beatles. Two Most Wanted is in dialogue with the song that I've loved forever. It came out in 1973 came out 51 years ago. Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. I've all, I had always loved Landslide. It's just such a beautiful, haunting, evocative melody. And I had never thought about what Landslide meant, what the point of the song was. I just loved the song. But Two Most Wanted is a response to Landslide. So what is Landslide about? Landslide asks a question that is so human and so universal. The question of Landslide is, is eternal love even possible? Is it possible for there to be such a thing as a love of the ages? Is it even possible that you fall in love when you're in your 20s? You fall in love when you're in your 30s. 
and you stay in love through your 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s, is that even possible? Landslide asks. After all, we're not the same in our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s as we were in our 20s and 30s. We've changed. The person we loved changed. The cause we love changed. The world we live in changed. How is it possible that a love could make it that long? So these are Stevie, lyric, Stevie Nicks' lyrics. Can I handle the seasons of my life? Well, I've been afraid of changing because I've built my life around you. But time makes you bolder. Even children get older, and I'm getting older too. And if you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills, well, the landslide bring it down. And if you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills, well, the landslide bring it down. Oh, oh, the landslide bring it down. So what does this song mean? And what is the song's answer to the question, can you fall in love in your 20s or 30s and stay in love till your 90s? So the answer is obviously tied up in the name of the song and the leitmotif of the song, Landslide. What, what does a landslide mean? And what does a landslide have to do with this question? And fortunately, we have the answer. We have the best evidence of the answer because Stevie Nicks, who wrote the song, says the following in her own words. She describes the fact that she wrote this song when she and her boyfriend of several years were breaking up because their relationship was buffeted about by change. And she happened to have been in Aspen, Colorado. And she's struggling with change, and she's struggling with her boyfriend, and she's breaking up, and oh my God. And she looks at the mountains, and then she finds her metaphor. Stevie Nicks says, I realized that everything could tumble. And when you're in Colorado, and you're surrounded by these incredible mountains, you think avalanche. It meant the whole world could tumble around us, and the landslide would bring you down. And a landslide in the snow is like deadly. In other words, landslide is about, the song landslide, is about how lifelong love may just not be possible. Because time changes and aging and illness, and financial reversals, and professional frustrations, and the ups and the downs, especially the downs of life, just all this accumulated force field, the landslide brings you down. Now, if you know the song Landslide, you know it has this gorgeous, haunting, evocative melody. And in Two Most Wanted, Miley Cyrus and Beyonce cue the reader and the listener to the fact that they are in direct dialogue because the song begins with landslide. And two most wanted, Beyonce and Miley Cyrus, are asking the same question. Is life, long, love possible? And in this song, Miley Cyrus and Beyonce, they fall in love very young. And they fall in love very hard. And they are both immediately aware of the problem of aging and changing. They name it in the first sentence. And then this is what they say. No, we're jumping the gun. We're both still young. One day we won't be. Didn't know what I want till I saw your face. Said goodbye to the old me. And I don't know what you're doing tonight, but I... I'll be your shotgun rider till the day I die. And throughout the song, both characters say this to each other. I'll be your shotgun rider till the day I die. I will be your shotgun rider till the day I die. What's a shotgun rider? 
So a shotgun rider is the person who is in the front seat with the driver. And they're on the road together, in the car together, on the journey together, through all the ups and through the downs. The shotgun rider is with the driver. The driver is not alone. The driver has the shotgun rider. And the shotgun rider is not alone. The shotgun rider has the driver. They have each other. And the shotgun rider does stuff for the driver. The shotgun rider gets food for the driver. The shotgun rider changes the radio for the driver. The shotgun rider figures out directions for the driver. When the driver gets sleepy, the shotgun rider makes pleasant conversation so that the driver doesn't fall asleep. The shotgun rider and the driver, they're in this thing together. And both characters pledge this to each other. In other words, Landslide says lifelong love is not possible. It's just going to fall under the landslide of life's accumulated changes. And Two Most Wanted says no. If both parties pledge to each other, I will be your shotgun rider till the day I die, then love can last. Now, why am I bringing this up now? What's this have to do with Judaism? And what's this have to do with our life? And the answer is literally everything. The answer is literally everything. The value of our life, the value of our life is the choice we make. Are we a landslide person or a two most wanted person? The value of our life is the commitments that we make that stand the test of time. When it's easy and when it's hard. In the good times and in the bad times. When the weather is sunny and when the weather is miserable. And the question is, can we keep on keeping on and be the shotgun rider till the day that we die? And this is not only about finding a person to love and a partner to love. This is about finding people and places and purposes and causes that we're going to love through the entirety of our lives in all seasons, even when the going gets tough. Now, here's the thing. Landslide energy is real because it will always be. It's just going to always be that we could say, you know, I've kind of outgrown it. I've changed. They've changed. The cause has changed. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not what it used to. I've, I've moved on. I've moved on. I've evolved landslide energy. But there is a cost to landslide energy. I was reading this column by Christoph in the Times. He was trying to make the case why marriage is so important. And he says something that is just so poignant. He writes, Perhaps 100,000 or more dead bodies in America go unclaimed each year, often because there are no loved ones to say farewell. It's a topic explored in another recent book, The Unclaimed, by sociologists Pamela Prickett and Stefan Timmermans. What is buried in the landslide, when we say, I've evolved, I've moved on, can't do it, it's different, it's changed, it's not good, it's not me, it's not good, it's not me, it's different. Letting it go. What gets buried in the landslide? Yeah, the cause you used to care about gets buried in the landslide for you. But also all the people that you used to care about it with. All that connectivity gets buried in the landslide. And to lose all of our commitments, to not be able to hold them when it's hard to hold, is to be unclaimed. And to be unclaimed is all too often to be alone and lonely. So, so, what claims you? What people claim you? What places claim you? What purposes claim you? 
What causes claim you? And claim you enough that you're going to hold on when the going gets tough. Can we turn to the people we love? Can we turn to the places we love? Can we turn to the purposes we love and say, I will be your shotgun rider until the day I die? And that's just a song we can never play enough. Shabbat Shalom.